part of the reason kids are not good in math is I don't think the, the field of math, the teachers have decided what's the best approach to teach math. So you have a whole bunch of traditionalists who are, care about facts and they care about instant recall. And that kind of has translated into memorization and kind of a brute force approach. Then you have kind of the more the new wave teachers, the new wave programs that are all really geared towards understanding. Now a lot of the problems with those is the kids do have a better understanding of math, but they're not so good computationally. And so there's this kind of this debate going on about which is right. And to me it turns out you gotta have both. Now, if somebody understands what they're doing and you teach them how to break down the numbers, it's not a question of memorizing tricks or formulas. Just like kids learn to break down words and then to spell by understanding sounds and syllables, you teach a kid how to break numbers down so that they can work with them in an easier way. So really what I'm trying to do is reconcile the traditionalists with kind of the modern approach to math and really show that it's really the same thing. And when somebody really understands both approaches, then they're in a position to see it's really the same thing. But I think that a lot of people that are just in favor of one or the other don't understand math as well as they might. And that's, that's a kind of a risky thing to say because that describes a lot of teachers of math and leaders in math, but that's kind of the conclusion I'm getting to. People that are inherently good in math are very abstract thinkers. But does that make them a good teacher? Generally not. A very abstract teacher is generally not a good teacher because they can't make things concrete enough for somebody to understand them. Then you have the flip side. You have teachers of teachers who are very good teachers. Why are they such good teachers? They're very concrete thinkers. They can make things very concrete. But does that mean they're good in math? And I'm gonna say no. The more I'm in this field, what I see is the very good math people are not good teachers, and the very good teachers are not inherently good math people. They've learned math, but they're not naturally not great in math. And I think it's rare to find somebody that's great in math, is an abstract thinker, but is also concrete enough that they can make abstract concepts understandable. Now, I'm hoping I might be one of the people that can help put this together.